Are you ready to have seeding completed but not really sure about the suitability of your seed mix? Keep watching to find out how to assess the suitability and the risks associated with the seed blend on your site. By the end of the video, you should have a good idea of why certain seed types are used and if there needs to be any alterations to your seed mix. There are three main different types of seed mix that we use. They're annuals, perennials and native seeds. Annual grasses, often called cover crops, are used to establish a root system quickly to hold the soil surface together. These species, such as Japanese millet, rye and oats, grow to reach a seed head but will tend to hay off over a few months. They'll generally not grow again unless re-sown. Perennial grasses are similar to your lawn. They're grasses like cooch and kaikuyu and perennial rye. Their grasses are reseed in situ, lasting in excess of two years. These grasses can both be the end result the client is after or can be used to maintain cover in the interim. Native grasses, shrubs and trees are all seeds natives to the area. They are seeds like eucalyptus, wattles and that kind of thing. Growing from seed or floret can take in excess of 12 months for some of these species. A seed mix from the specification only has native species shown. In this case, due to the fact that some of these seeds can take an excess of 12 months to germinate, these areas can be prone to long-term erosion and excessive weed growth. This is due to the dormant weed seed in the topsoil along with the windblown weed seed from the adjacent areas germinating. With nothing to outcomplete these weed seeds, significant growth is expected. Here it may be an idea to use both annual and perennial grasses to maintain the cover in the short and medium term before the natives begin to germinate. Similar to our last example, we have the potential for excessive weed growth and erosion here, as the annuals will hay off over a few months, leaving areas bare until the natives germinate. This means between three and 12 months post application, these areas are exposed. Again, the inclusion of perennials may be required here in order to maintain the cover in the medium term. I hope this video has given you a bit of background as to why certain seed types are used and you can now move forward knowing where different seed types may be required and better understand how performance checkpoints can be achieved and identify the potential for any future problems.